Introduction to the surface of Proxima b. Imagine the James Webb Telescope has essentially made the most clear. Historical picture of Proxima b, stumbling upon amazing knowledge about an exoplanet that might be habitable. It compels us, as we set out on a journey through space, to find out what's behind Proxima b. To determine whether it might be the next Earth, we ought to take off into the vastness of the universe, where a mysterious planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet is not like any other ordinary rock. It's real. Proxima b discovered just 4.2 light years away from us. This planet is covered in mysteries and wonders. Could it be another Earth with seas and the life that grows there? However, there is more to Proxima Centauri. In that system, b is not the only one. Around the red dwarf star, it has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, and what else? Additional mysteries that the galaxy holds. We might have a second companion we haven't figured out the secret of yet. It extends beyond that. Proxima Centauri produces approximately the same quantity of energy from its star, just like Earth does from the Sun. This could conceivably imply that there's water on its surface, and perhaps even life. As we venture outside of our solar system, we encounter an entirely new universe of exoplanets planets that orbit stars other than the Sun, with 200 billion stars in the universe. Opportunities for exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even wander freely, untethered to any star like wandering travelers in space. Why is this image of Proxima be so groundbreaking? It's one that stands out as Proxima Centauri b, a planet with a striking and captivating year that lasts. Only 11.2 Earth days and a distance from its star, generally closer than the Earth is to the Sun. Indeed, one side of the planet is frequently washed in sunlight, while the opposing side remains in perpetual darkness. Now let's examine Proxima. Centauri, the star that Proxima b revolves around. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which includes three stars. This system includes Rigel Centaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri A and B together. These stars form the closest star system to our solar system. The two stars, Alpha Centauri, A and B, GNK type stars, appear as one star in the constellation Centaurus and are the third most brilliant stars in the night sky. With a peak luminosity of under 2.7, Proxima Centauri, also known as Centauri. C is a red dwarf, an M-type star, discovered 21 light years from the other two stars, approximately four times as far apart. It is the star closest to the Sun and Earth, to us. Proxima actually refers to the closest star in Latin, and it was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn. Despite being our closest celestial neighbor, it cannot be seen by the naked eye with a visible magnitude of 11.13, just significantly fainter than the human eye's limit of 6.5. Anyway, don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still a star worth studying. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy generation. Although they don't produce a lot of energy, the internal processes of convection at their cores enable them to shine for trillions of years. Generally speaking, Proxima Centauri will continue to be a main sequence star for another four trillion years. However, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still debated. One argument is that it is a flare star, as it has intense and frequent explosions. When a star with a low mass has a habitable zone, it would be much closer to it than the sun's is projected to be somewhere in the range of 0.23 to 0.54. Oh, but it's not as habitable as it appears. Proxima b experiences intense bombardment of ultraviolet light emitted by its star, regularly stronger than the radiation we get from our sun. That's right. It's so extreme to the point where even the smallest atoms of hydrogen are stripped away, along with oxygen and nitrogen. But that isn't all. Just because a planet is at the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b may not have a stable atmosphere, which is essential for regulating temperature and maintaining a water-friendly surface. Without it, living organisms would be susceptible to harsh space weather conditions, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima b might appear Earth-like on the surface, it is far from being able to support life. Scientists remain somewhat cautious as there are many factors that make it inhospitable. 
the mission to reveal the truth about Proxima b continues. And one tool that has garnered the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. James Webb Telescope works. The telescope captured the image after years of anticipation, finally went live at the end of 2018, and will aid us in determining whether there is life on Proxima b, however. As with everything in science, things are never as clear as they appear. Several changes were needed to ensure the James Webb Telescope delivers accurate images, Abby Tabber, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains. If a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it can also emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light. It can capture images of this planet-wide light. Searching the surface for patterns that could prove that water is present or that a planet has an atmosphere. But what if the planet has an environment that makes life difficult? The presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee the presence of life. Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University, cautions, Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere that is much denser than Earth's, and extreme temperatures that would make it impossible for life to exist. The journey to decipher Proxima b's mysteries is not without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are additional aspects and costs to consider. Mounting space missions, scientists are feeling the need to observe. Planets like Proxima b in some way. However, the benefits are even greater. The opportunity to explore the unknown. To discover a distant planet's secrets that possess life-sustaining potential is a pursuit worth chasing. The implications for future missions to space are significant. If the exoplanet exists and were habitable, might we visit it one day? It is the exoplanet closest to us, which makes it so intriguing, practically like our own backyard. Even more. Exciting is that it's roughly the same size and located in a habitable zone similar to Earth's, suggesting it could indeed have conditions suitable for life. Proxima b's proximity also makes it an optimal target for our search for life. Despite its proximity to Earth, it's a strong contender for interstellar missions. We should investigate this exoplanet that looks like Earth, but we can't yet go. There. It's certainly on the radar for future missions as technology advances. It's one of the most exciting initiatives in the realm of space exploration. However, it's no easy task. It would take 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2. To reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nonetheless, a solution has been proposed solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to propel a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima, and this technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating. The issue of running out of fuel? This is something even more awesome. Modern technology may offer perspectives on the possibility of life on other planets, similar to Proxima b like anything ambitious. There are limitations, such as the existence, of an atmosphere does not always make certain that life on Proxima b is present. It could be like Venus, with a thick, hot atmosphere that's inhospitable. Additionally, obtain this from the James Webb Space Telescope, which can detect such emissions if it reaches a brightness. Of only 5%, the current daytime side of 5% may not appear like a lot, but when it comes to a star that is typically less bright than our own sun, it's quite significant. If Proxima b has advanced cultures, they could use bright orbital reflection. Mirrors to direct sunlight from the daytime side to the night side. How cool is that? The discovery of Proxima b has captivated space enthusiasts and scientists alike because of how close it is to Earth and its potential for habitability. As one of the exoplanets closest to our solar system, it has become a focal point for astrobiological studies its position within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, grants it the capability of hosting liquid water, which is essential to life. However, this potential is tempered by the extreme radiation emitted by its Centaurian star. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf, is recognized for its flare activity, which could deplete the atmosphere of the planet and make the surface inhospitable. Despite these challenges, scientists are optimistic. Proxima B's discovery was an important Advancement in the search for planet-like worlds. Advanced telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, continue to provide crucial data by studying its atmosphere. 
Future missions aim to explore the planet's surface, its geological characteristics, and the potential for life. Taxima B's close proximity to Earth, combined with its similarities to our own planet, makes it a prime candidate for future interstellar. Exploration. With each new discovery, our understanding of exoplanets multiplies. The aspiration of discovering Earth-based life gets closer to reality. In conclusion, there are countless planets waiting to be found in the universe. These planets exist in all sizes and shapes. Some are enormous gas giants, whereas others are similar to our own planet. But what information do we have about them? One exoplanet that has piqued the interest of space scientists is the gas giant. The chemical makeup of these planets is similar to Jupiter and Saturn, but much larger. Some of these behemoths have been named Super Jupiters, surpassing even the largest planet currently in our solar system. That's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit extremely close to their host star, existing in a scorching world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine seeing one of these planets up close with its furious storms and gas. In addition to extreme heat, Neptunian giants are also found among exoplanets which are similar in size to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are the hot Neptunes and small Neptunes, which are less large and located closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets frequently remain mysterious, despite their difficult atmospheres, which are hard to study from afar. And please do not forget the Earth-like exoplanets. These planets resemble our own planet and come in various sizes, ranging from two times smaller than our planet. Size-wise, there are even super-Earths, which have masses more than twice our planets but are lighter than Neptune. One of the most captivating exoplanets, Proxima Centauri b, was discovered recently. This planet is a super-Earth, estimated to have a mass of seven Earth masses. Despite its proximity to its host star, it is still far enough away to be considered within the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone. It has a companion. Proxima Centauri c, which is much farther from the star. This planet has an orbital period of around five Earth years. In 2020, it was discovered using pre-recovery Hubble data. What's even more interesting is that Proxima Centauri c appears to be an incredibly bright world. Possibly due to the presence of a ring system, there's more to find within the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers noticed a change in the star's orbital speed which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet will be called Proxima Centauri d and will be roughly the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine living in an area where the night sky is filled with stars and countless different planets, each with its own distinct characteristics. In orbits, the universe is full of surprises and exoplanets are one of them. With brand new findings being made constantly, it's an exciting time to be a space scientist. While we don't yet have an accurate count of exoplanets, we do know they exist, just as we know the stars that light up the universe. However, exoplanets are not without their difficulties. They are frequently hidden from view by the starlight of their hosts, making them difficult to study. Still, with advancements in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible. For an exoplanet to be directly imaged, it must be large enough to be seen sufficiently far from its host star to avoid being obscured and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can be directly imaged, but they provide a fascinating glimpse into the characteristics and components of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are most frequently discovered through the modifications they instigate in their host, star's gravitational pull. An exoplanet's gravitational pull can cause its host star to wobble, and this radial velocity can be determined by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This method has provided valuable information about exoplanets, including their size, distance, temperature. Here are a few amusing facts. Did you know that over 22% of stars, including those like our Sun, have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? or the Trappist-1 is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces, similar to those in our solar system. Exoplanets can also have natural satellites with more than one exomoon. 
with over 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we are aware that they are abundant throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters are the easiest to find because of their mass and rapid rotation, but countless other exoplanets have yet to be found. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is unveiling the secrets of the universe, one discovery at a time. This extraordinary telescope has been gathering information and taking stunning images of the universe, revealing recently discovered wonders. It made an important discovery that will alter our perception of the universe forever, NASA announced, that the James Webb Space Telescope has found the first conclusive proof of carbon dioxide in a planet's atmosphere outside our solar system. This discovery provides crucial insights into the formation and composition of the planet, offering us a glimpse into the mysteries of this gas giant planet. Orbiting a sun-like star 700 light-years away, this discovery signifies an important advancement in the search for extraterrestrial life. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson stated that this discovery would provide us with a new way of looking at the universe that we've never seen before, sparking excitement among astronomers and scientists worldwide. But that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy taking stunning photographs and gathering data about the universe in the infrared. The light from the young emitting object with the number 110 IROS 4 illuminates the cool, spherical cloud material and the orange. Spots behind the cloud reveal light from distant stars obscured by the ice in the cloud. This remarkable research was part of Webb's Ice Age project, with the goal of studying the formation of ice from its creation to the formation of frozen comets. And that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has imaged the inner workings of a dusty disk in the vicinity of a red dwarf star, capturing it for the first time at these light frequencies in the infrared,